If content is king, then the court jester is the thumbnail. Many people decide whether to watch your video or not based upon the thumbnail. And if you're like me and can't draw, you most likely go into a panic the moment you have to design a thumbnail for your video. I've had times where I spend more time on creating the thumbnail than I did making the video that I was designing it for. That stops today. I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to create thumbnails that look great, but more importantly, are scientifically designed to grab a viewer's attention and get them to click. Be sure to watch to the end of the video because I'm going to give you my ultimate YouTube AI thumbnail creator prompt. This is something that I spent weeks on and I'm giving to you for free and you're soon going to be creating fantastic thumbnails in minutes. Using Chatty to create YouTube thumbnails. Stay till the end because I'm going to give you the ability to download my ultimate AI YouTube thumbnail generator. If you are into content creating, the super huge pain is coming up with the thumbnail for your video. You're ready to upload your piece to YouTube, but the, the YouTube thumbnail for me is one of the hardest things. I can't draw. But I know when something looks good, but I'm not able to recreate that myself. When I get to Canva, I might as well be a monkey with an atomic laser because I can see it. I know it can do it. I'm supposed to take this, decide I want to customize it. Stage fright pops in. Now I got to go and do this. Maybe I want to change out this young lady for me. And in order to do that, I've got to find a picture of me and then I've got to take it off and then I got to put it on and then I got to put the light. So let's see what we can do with chat GPT. We're going to come up with a mythical product. I'm going to show you how this evolves. Create an image for a product called purple shampoo. You have to be very specific in terms of what you want out. Of it. It's probably not going to be the right size for a YouTube thumbnail. Here we are. We're going to get a bottle of purple shampoo. I hate typing. So I'm using the speech to text feature, which is available on the Chromebook or the Windows machine. Create a thumbnail for a product called purple shampoo. This will be used in a YouTube video. Create me an image suitable for YouTube, having this YouTube ratio where I will be advertising a product called Purple Shampoo. Use my image, put me in there, adjust the expression on my face to look happy. Try not to distort it too much. Okay. It took the picture I gave, it's really distorted it. Some of you may not think that, and I'm going to come and find you. But it has used my image and put that in. So what would be the best way? Because we don't want to have to do this every time. I have a huge collection of thumbnails. I'm going to let's tell it, examine these thumbnails and pull out what's consistent in terms of contrasting colors, fonts, font sizes, angles, placement of people, placement of objects, products, and the ratio. I'll create a prompt where I will give you the topic and one image of me, and you will create an thumbnail that meets these specifications. I want you to do a really good job. Before you start, send in emails, ask me if I'm all right. It has been proven that when you phrase and talk to chat GPT, it seems to do a better job. I'm not endowing it with any kind of mental capacity. They found that if you ask chat to do a better job, it tends to do a better job. It's now identified the key elements. It says create a thumbnail in a 16 by nine ratio featuring the topic. I use the uploaded image as the main subject. It says, do you want to try this? So I'll say, sure. I'm going to add my picture. The topic 
is that I am selling purple shampoo and it's the best shampoo on the market. My expression should relay my excitement. I have to try to not be egotistical and say that looks nothing like me, but I'm okay with that. I like the colors. So it used purple with the purple shampoo. That was fantastic. It came out with contrasting colors. It's got it on an angle. So for me, this is fine. I'm averaging a, a, the same amount, actually a little uptick in clicks, which is what I wanted. More importantly, I'm not making myself crazy trying to come up with a thumbnail. I've created a ultimate thumbnail creator. It's text safe so that the text doesn't go over. And it also does research based upon what you tell it. You're doing a YouTube thumbnail. You need one for Nestle's Quick Strawberry, one of the great flavors as opposed to banana, which I can't stand. It will go out and do things like maybe add more pink to the thumbnail because it knows it's pink. And it may even put a strawberry on me because I've asked it to add whatever accessories will help with the clickability. My goal is not take away from Canva or any of those other places. If you can use Canva and you can get a thumbnail out of it, God bless you. I just need to get a thumbnail out and a good one, not crap. I need to get something fairly decent out so I can put on my YouTube video sooner rather than later. This is a bonus. I'm doing this late at night and with great power comes great responsibility. I wanted to show you another way to use ChatGPT to create thumbnails, but I'm going to stress that if you do this, please do it the right way. And I'm at public domain YouTube thumbnails. I'm actually going to take a thumbnail from this thumbnail from Wikimedia Commons. I'm going to save that public domain image. I'm going to add my own picture and upload this public domain thumbnail. Okay. Replace the person in the thumbnail with my picture change the wording to be please use this ethically and what it's going to do <laughs> is it's going to take that thumbnail it already knows how to do it from the standpoint of it can look at it and see. It has my picture and now it is going to try to do the changes that we asked, which is to switch the young lady in the picture with my picture. And again, remember, it's not gonna be perfect. We already know that. And it's going to try and change the wording to match what we have here. So obviously you can see how powerful that this is. If this works, you're gonna be able to see how powerful this is because that means you could basically take any any thumbnail and redo it. I'm going to show you how to use my ultimate YouTube AI thumbnail creator. You'll find the link in the description below. You'll get this PDF that includes the prompt and tells you how to use it. And it's going to by asking you what the topic of your video is. And then it's going to ask you if you have a head and shoulders or a picture of yourself. That's optional. It then asks, would you like to add a facial expression? And there's a primary. You don't have to answer any of these except for the topic. 
and you can answer those in a regular sentence. It's then going to do some research into the colors. If you're talking about Nestle's Quick Strawberry, it's going to go and do a little bit of research on the topic to pick the right colors. Go and find the go and find something about it and then come back and give me the colors. There's a whole bunch. That's why I said I worked on this for a week so that it would work fine. So how to use this? All we do is take everything between where it says start of prompt and end of prompt. Copy that. Go into your chat GPT. Now I have a paid account. If you're using chat GPT at all, you pay the $20. Well, yeah, it hit the enter key and it will start up. What's the topic of your video? Would you like to upload a picture? I'm going to say the topic is a pig that can play blackjack and is making a lot of money at it. Then I'm going to say no image to upload. The main person should be the pig and he should be looking very happy and rich. Of the two, I think I prefer the one, at least the one that had enough to wear a suit and a tie. So I'm going to click on, I prefer this response. And at this point I can click the download to, to download it. Now you can also make some changes. So I could say, I like it, but redo and make the pig photo realistic. Oh my goodness. I love this. Now I have noticed that when you make changes, say regenerate it again, sometimes the text goes off the edge. The very first time it will never go off the edge. The second time it does. So what I would do is I would start this again from scratch and say, I want to use a photorealistic pig. So it asks, do you want to create another one? Say yes. And it will start all over again. I was able to save that picture. I've now uploaded this and now I say the, the topic of the video is trying out a grilled cheese sandwich for the first time and he really likes it and there we go on the comments below let me know what tools you're using to create thumbnails and what's your longest it's taken you to create a thumbnail. My personal best is five hours to create a thumbnail for an eight minute video. The thumbnail came out fantastic, but it took away from what I was really trying to do. Click the subscribe button. Be sure to check out the High Tech Nomads podcast with Terrence. Until the next time, this is Orman Beckles, AKA the High Tech Nomad.